I'm going to be going over four tools that have really helped me become a more productive software engineer and just in general be way more efficient with my time. To start off with is my editor, Visual Studio Code, which you're looking at right now. This is a really nice one because it strikes a really sweet balance between not being as heavy as an IDE but still having a ton of great features. Along with just being a really solid editor, which just works really well out of the box and having all the things that you would want from a code editor, it has some really sweet integrations, which I didn't even realize that I would want. So one of them that I've been really enjoying lately is the integration with Git. So for example, let's say I change a line in this file, like I just deleted it right there. First off, you'll see the color changes over here and we can see it's now orange and it's modified. So quickly at a glance, I can kind of see all of my files, which I've touched in the uh, since my last commit. The other thing is we see one up here, one file has changed. I can click on that and I can see all the chi all the files that have changed, click on it. I can quickly see a diff of the file and I can either commit the code or I can just revert it really easily. Um, and being able to do all that from just VS Code right there has been really nice and not having to leave my editor. Uh, the other thing is the extensions are really sweet on this. So right here is another one that is related to Git. I can see 10 days ago this commit for this line was added and it was added by RenovateBot and I can hover over this. Uh, that also tells me the commit message right there. And I can hover over this and it gives me more details. So this is one that's called Git Lens. And there's a ton of other great ones. I'm not going to detail them all in this video, but I'll link below uh, my list of extensions that I use. Um, and then if you haven't used Visual Studio Code in a while, and, or you tried it in the past and you didn't really like it, I really recommend giving it another try because it is an editor that's getting updates every single month. Microsoft is just has a giant change log every month of everything that they've added and improved. And as someone who's been using it the entire time, you can really see a ton of improvements month to month and it is becoming a beast of an editor and I'm really happy with it so far. And speaking of extensions, tool number two is Prettier, which I have as an extension over here. So if you haven't heard of Prettier, what it does is it formats your code. Now Prettier doesn't support all languages, so if you're not using JavaScript or the subset of languages it supports, the focus here is setting up an auto formatter for whatever language you're using. And this is just straight huge. So what this is, is I have it set up also. It's huge to make sure it's on save. So I have a setting, and I think if I just go to Preferences, Setting, we can see it over here. And you just add Editor Format on Save, and it's huge. So now every time I'm doing stuff, uh, let's say right here, I've kind of like messed up the file a little bit. It now has indentions all over the place. I just save it, and now it re-indents it. And I think I got rid of a line, so let me just undo. There we go. Um, and being able to just not worry about formatting your code is a huge time saver. Now I'm just writing code, not worrying about what it looks like, hitting save, and now it's super pretty, and also is a consistent styling across the entire team and people that I'm working with, so it's super nice for that. So pretty much no matter what language you're using, I'm looking for a auto formatter, and for JavaScript, that's going to be prettier. All right, so tool number three, which you're also seeing right now, is Vim. I have a VS Code extension for it, and it's how I'm moving my cursor around with my keyboard right now. And it's something I invested in learning early on, and I'm really glad I did because it's paying off huge right now. Being able to just focus on the keyboard and not have to switch between my mouse and keyboard as I'm coding is really nice. And it's just faster to be able to select stuff, delete stuff, and then just undo it. I mean, that's just a few things. Um, and then just kind of to hop through and navigate your code is just so smooth um, that once you get used to it, there's a little bit of a learning curve um, for sure. Uh, but then it just pays off in the long term so much. And I really recommend it for any software engineer. Now, if you do want to learn it, the thing that I used was Vim Tutor. It's something you can run uh, in Terminal. And what it does is it just starts up a little kind of tutorial where you're in the Vim editor and you can actually learn all the little... Uh, at least the beginner commands. Um, and what I did is I just went cold turkey and started using Vim for everything, all my coding. And eventually I got to the point where it's really enjoyable to use. Um, 
so that's Vim and tool number four, and we're actually just looking at tool number four is Tmux, which is a terminal multiplexer, which means basically you can just do cool stuff with your terminal, uh, at least splitting terminals and kind of treating it like a browser almost with tabs and stuff. So I'm actually kind of a Tmux noob, but I still get a ton of value out of it. So here I'm using the terminal from VS Code, um, and then I have Tmux running inside of it. So this is Tmux. Uh, this is just an output from one of my servers. But what Tmux is, is down here we can see three tabs. So this is currently a node server running. And I can easily switch between tabs here using a hotkey. Um, and so that's what Tmux is doing. I can create a new terminal window. I can close the terminal window. Um, and so what it looks like for me is, so this is a project that I've been working on. Um, and this is kind of my setup. So I'll have a terminal window open right here uh, for my server log. Um, and then tab number two, I have this split. So here's my website log. And then over here, I'll usually be running some kind of command with it. And then over here is a, a UI package. And I have this kind of split into three. Um, and that's I can kind of just do kind of different, different splits by pressing the space key with it. Uh, and then I kind of just have different log files. So basically I use it to split and do different uh, terminal windows. And I really like being able to just kind of easily switch between and catalog my different windows. The other thing that I really like is a lot of times I am deleting my terminal, um, at least in Visual Studio Code, or I'm closing it, and I don't want to lose the entire session. And Tmux runs in the background and all you have to do is say tmux attach and I'm now back into that session and I didn't lose anything. So that's another thing that I really like. And then all these tools work super nice together. So Vim and Prettier are Visual Studio Code extensions um, and so I am using both of those as I'm coding uh, projects and then tmux I'm running inside the terminal right here um, and so then that's pretty much how I'm coding is I'm using my extensions and coding regularly here, and then using Tmux down here to navigate my all my terminals and run any commands that I want to. And I'm really happy with this setup, and I would really recommend if you're looking to improve any of those any of those areas, checking out these tools.